Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Eden Run, number 11, not that I'm bragging or anything. Doctor's Remote, Mysterious Liquid, I think. No, it's actually, uh, Scorpio. Poison Tears, 439EJ98A. Looks like our damage stat is relatively decent. Uh, shot speed seems good, which can sometimes make it seem like, uh, fire rate is good. So it might actually be a conflation one way or the other. Either I've got my shot speed overrated, or I've got my uh, rate of fire overrated. But either way, this looks like a really good start, and I'm super stoked that we have a lot of HP. Probably should have... Ooh, now I'm really stoked about this run, because Monstro's Lung, uh, one of the best items, I like it at least, and one of the most fun items for sure. I don't think there's any doubt in that one. As long as we can uh, not break its synergy, this will be a run where I will be trying to maintain the purity of uh, what RNG Jesus has given us here. Oh my god, okay, that, thank you for the red hearts, because honestly, I've been taking some seriously dumb damage, but we should be completely fine. Just want to check these for a crawl space, because we can always bomb through if necessary to get something that's over there. And this is a really, really good start. I'm so glad we started with enough HP for me to not be, like, completely shit on because of the fact that I suck right now. And we'll save uh, Doctor's Remote for our boss. Figured we'd open it. Oh, that's actually amazing, okay. I always, this is such a good counter to this boss, by the way, but I always forget, uh, do we get a deal with the devil on the first floor with the goat head? We're about to find out. The answer is no, and you know what, that's okay as far as I'm concerned, because we got the halo to back it up. Um, place your bets on this one. <laughs> Betting is now locked, I have a really good feeling about this. We are going to go here because we already have goat head, so... As long as I keep a, a decent eye on where our HP is, or at least where I think it is, we should be in such a good spot right now. So, we have three full hard containers and one empty one. So, a maximum HP of four, current HP of three. We want to keep that in mind because we got Deals with the Devil coming up. And I'd rather have Curse of the Unknown with a very simple thing to remember than uh, Curse of the Blind that you can't really do anything about, to be honest with you. I, I gotta be honest and maybe even a little bit cocky. I'm starting to feel momentum again. Something we have not, or I've not, felt like I've had on uh, any of the videos since really the original streak ended so we're getting uh, I'm getting some confidence back underneath me my sea legs if you will um, the C stands for cool ass robot my cool ass robot legs but anyway I'm uh, I'm ready I'm ready to, to start knocking this one out of the park I'm ready to throw out a legitimate Eden streak I'm not gonna put any goals down on paper yet we'll, we'll talk about that as we get it a little further along we'll just for now let's just have fun and do our best the haunt should not be very difficult with what we got going on. The ghosts, relatively non-tanky. Poison damage will do a significant amount. I'm just going to imagine we like tagged them there. Made it easier for the airstrike to hit. And one more full-on Scorpio shot did it. Oh, Torn Photo is going to be amazing. And, okay. I will not take Mom's Knife because the synergies don't work. We have, we've also already had Mom's Knife like crazy lately. Let's do a little bit more exploration, because let's be honest, this run is going to start moving pretty quickly, pretty fast. Um, which are kind of synonymous. But anyway, whoa, be careful. I don't love this room, but I'll, I'll try to find something to love about it, sure. Oh, the Spirit Heart makes me love it a little bit more. And then we'll go. And I should not have lost the spirit heart immediately, but hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, you know, just, uh, it was actually my bad. That will find the secret room if it were, if it was there, and, uh, at least we got swallowed penny. Alright, down to the next floor. Uh, we've got more HP, but it's all gonna be spirit hearts and black hearts. I think we probably have, like, ten? Six. Alright, I was off by a little bit. I was off by three, but I still won the grand prize. That's right, a first class one-way ticket. To Albuquerque, everyone, you know, it's the ultimate track on uh, Weird Al Yankovic's famous album, Running With Scissors. Running With Skizzers, if I remember correctly, is the name. Okay, be a little careful here. We don't have a ton of HP to throw away. I mean, we're not hurting for a squirting, but I'd like to be playing better. Uh, for some cheddar, you know what I mean? It's it surprisingly somewhat fits. I know we left a key back there. I'm intending on going back to it. We're going to explore the entirety of all of our floors is my intention because there's no point in getting locked into speedrun meta even though we're going to be able to go very fast because there's no way we're not going to do boss rush regardless. Like, we are absolutely 
going to be able to, to do boss rush if we want to do boss rush. Um, we're already like at least three minutes. I mean, we're four minutes into the run and we're like three minutes ahead of the curve. Which is, if we keep up that pace, I'm pretty sure at some point we go back in time. Which I'm looking forward to. Maybe I could win that guillotine run. Amnesia. Oh, that sucks real bad. And the Suicide King. So the real secret of the Suicide King is uh, not accidentally hitting Q. I did use... Was That that was last run where I used Suicide King effectively. All of a sudden... Like, every time I pick up a Suicide King, it's like my, uh, my fingers start to feel like heavy and clumsy. And I'm like, oh, God. Any second could be the final moment. A any panic. And I press the button. I hope I don't slip when I try to hit the space bar and accidentally hit Q. I'm actually at the point already where I'm kind of done with uh, Doctor's Remote because I feel like our actual tiers just do better. Bad trip, really. Slight disappointment. Why am I keeping Suicide King if I'm so nervous? Well, one reason is it's funny and it actually can be helpful, but the other reason is we could get uh, respawn items on a deal with the devil regardless. Oh, that was dumb of me. So we could get like a, a Guppy's Nine Lives. <laughs> you remember Guppy Nine Lives, that famous... Uh, Children's cartoon. It would be nice if I could stop taking so much dumb damage, but we did pick up, uh... We did pick up, uh... The Eternal Heart, so I'm not too bummed out about it. I think that was a dead end as well. And there's our key. I told you I'd go back for it. Someone in chat probably like, Hey, I'll bid you five bucks, NL doesn't go, go back for it. Pay up, motherfucker! Pay up directly. I am gonna check the curse room, because I'm gonna be a little cocky. And it ended up working out. We also get a penny for that because of Swallow Penny. So, that feels okay. That feels okay. You're dead. Okay. Um, I hate Amnesia, man. The worst superhero of all time. Amnesia man, Amnesia man. What does he do? He forgets. He used to be a scientist back in his day. Got into a car accident. Can't remember his name. Look out. Here comes Amnesia Man. He feels great shame because of his debilitation. His family assures him he's not a burden on their limitations. But secretly, they resent the fact that he can't remember it. Look out, soul-crushing Amnesia Man. Um, did we go? I don't think we went this way before. It was getting a little too real there, so I decided to, to stop it. But I, I don't know, like, if you know someone who suffers from, like, genuine amnesia, then I, uh, I'm in no disrespect by it. But I feel like amnesia is one of those conditions that shows up disproportionately in media to, you know, versus its prevalence in real life. So I hope that I didn't necessarily ruffle too many feathers there. Also, I hope I don't get sued for uh, covering the Spider-Man song. Okay, we will take Satanic Bible. There's a battery back there, but at the same time, I'm recognizing that with Satanic Bible, we're going to pretty quickly ball out of control here. Um, and we don't really need to worry about getting to full HP, because it's just going to happen. Is he strong? He doesn't know. He can tell you a lot about amnesia, though. Have you seen 51st dates? It's nothing like that. It's actually a huge bummer. Look out. Not an Adam Sandler romantic comedy with Drew Barrymore. All right. Oh, you've chosen to live when your friends have died. Yeah, uh, I don't really care about the fish head, so we should be fine here. What does it matter? One more hit, and then we'll get a deal with the devil. We probably got Krampus coming up soon, but I would selfishly love to see nine lives. Just so that if I hit uh, Q by accident, we don't die. Judas' is shadow. Oh, lordy! Wait, this is awesome! Yes! I am a genius or an idiot. We're about to find out. That's helpful. Not helpful. Awaz rune. Interesting. Potentially helpful. Spiders. Not helpful. Two of spades. Helpful. AWAS are not helpful. Experimental treatment. Not gonna take it. Let's get the hell out of here. So that worked out really well. Like, our damage should be incredible. We're so far ahead of the curve right now. Um, please don't make me re-roll it. Please. Ah, it re-rolls everything on the ground. Let's do this. 
do this. And I know this is a little cheesy, but I'm going to just re-roll it right away before we really get into too much trouble. That was out of sheer laziness. That was very stupid. Just because I didn't want my head to have to hold all the information of the stuff that would have to be re-rolled in the future. So I was like, ah, just do it now. And it worked out. I mean, we got keys out of it, but what else we got here? Paralysis. Puberty. Not, not bad. I can see forever. Good. Speed down. I mean, our pill game has not been particularly solid, but I can see forever is really good. And we got huge rate of fire. Judas's shadow is going to help us out with our damage, which was also really good in advance of that last situation. Uh, that was stupid. I missed out on that. One-sixth of a charge there, but hey, one-sixth of a charge matters, man. Or it can matter. Let's, let's be more accurate. And Goathead has really been the all-star here. Um, you know, blank card can, sla can be slash is a lot of fun, but I kind of feel like... I'm happy with Satanic Bible because I've been making some not so fantastic plays with these black cards right now. Also, we don't have a rune. Maybe if we get a rune, like we could have used blank card Awaz, but it's kind of eh. But if we get like blank card, if we get a Yara rune or like a Degas rune on this floor, I would definitely take advantage of it. Even Hagalaz, like blank card Hagalaz for the next two floors could be a lot of fun. Or even just a good card, like blank card uh, Joker or something like that. Blank card Emperor, those are a lot of fun as well. So we'll, we'll see if we can blow up some of these bad boys and make it happen. Well, this is a good chance. Blank card Yera. Uh, I guess that'll do it. <laughs> it's amazing how quickly that happened. Uh, let's not forget that if there's a battery on the ground, you can actually just use the Yera rune... Oh, my farkin' jar to, to um, duplicate it endlessly. So don't... Now if we hit Q, it's also bad, but for different reasons. But let's just... Focus on not doing that for now. Sorry, donation machine. You've been kind to us lately. That's okay. Well, I guess it would be nice if I could make donations. I don't have the proclamation to do it right now. I don't know if that's a real word, but if it was a real word, it would mean desire. But it would also rhyme with motivation or donation. Why didn't I just say freaking motivation? Oh. Uh. Bernie Toppin wouldn't have had that happen. All right. Hope for some spirit hearts, please. Like, I'm waiting on what to duplicate here. In truth, the correct answer for what to duplicate is probably just something quickly. Because the faster you can get, like, some dope doubles in there, the, the more meaningful it can be for you very quickly. So, in reality, I should probably just um, start doubling as soon as I can. But, like, that bomb and key could have been a good example. You could have had, like, 20 of each by the end. But... It's okay. I'm kind of also waiting on the exact right items, and I guess it's better in some cases to get less of the more meaningful item than more of the less meaningful item. Possibly. Oh, uh, yeah, Doom Ball of Tar. It's okay. Not my favorite item, but it's pretty good. It's no juicy sack, that's for sure. So I'm looking for Tinted Rocks to try to, you know, kickstart our Spirit Heart engagement here. But the truth is, we're not really in that much of a truly dangerous position right now, so we don't need to sweat it all that much. This could be a good one. If we could Yera um, some Hierophant cards, or any card, really, for that matter. Onsus. Might as well blank card. No, we should have used Onsus now that I think about it, but whatever. At least now we can see where the second secret room is. And just my luck, there will be like a bunch of black hearts and spirit hearts here that we want. Oh, there's enough rooms left on this floor. I've been... I've been lazy about going to every single one. We should be fine. No spirit heart, so I, I'm not completely right, at least. And nothing there. Okay. Let's check our second secret room where we get a lot of red hearts we cannot take advantage of. Unless we get Dark Bomb, in which case this blank card Yara rune is going to come in handy pretty quickly. Alright. Ooh. I shouldn't frame this like we're in a bad position. We're not even playing that badly. We're playing it like a 5 out of 10 level, and we have a 10 out of 10 run. So... It's a pretty good situation. I just... I wish that I was playing a little bit better. But I guess that hinges entirely on me. So I can't really be too mad about it. Now, what would make this better? Uh, a Krampus fight with Lump of Coal would be a huge seller. Extra speed plus range is not bad. And it's Krampus, all right. And he gave us the right item. Sweet. Let's get the heck out of this floor. I think we've done our part. We've got the depths coming up next. I would like to teleport out of the boss room, but or out of boss rush, but we'll see. Like I said, like we don't have to rush. 
Just like uh, Usher said, you don't have to call. We don't have to rush. You don't have to rush. It's okay, chat. I'm gonna be all right tonight. There's some Usher songs from like before he became a super, super mega star. Like pre-2004, yeah era, peace up, A-Town down, that I kind of don't get. Another one is, uh, You Remind Me. It's, you remind me of a girl that I once knew. See your face whenever I, I look at you. It's like, you wouldn't believe some of the things that she put me through. This is why I just can't get with you. It's like, yo, Usher, that doesn't make you soulful. It actually makes you kind of an asshole. While your criticisms may well be understandable, it still, it seems like you are you get along well with this girl and she just kind of looks like another girl that you were with at one point. And as a result, and you can't get over that, you, you're going to kibosh this relationship that could be the best thing that's ever happened to you. But, I mean, this is also the guy who sang Love in this club. Which I won't repeat because there's some language that's questionable for me, but anyway. Um, we have five hearts. I'm sticking for now with um, with two of diamonds because it's more immediately productive, but if we'll find some spirit hearts or black hearts on the ground, I would uh, I'd change my tune uh, in a jiffy. Be helpful if I could hit things too. Okay, okay, okay. What do we do here? Um, well. Homer. I think we play this judgment in the hopes of getting some real HP that we can hopefully trade to a deal with the devil for a nine lives. I recognize this is uh, cost prohibitive when it comes to the shop. That's okay. We got the HP out of it. Now we can do a little bit of like this. I don't know why I'm getting the money instead, but we're still fine on time. Let's try to get two plays on you instead. Um, let's use, uh, let's use blank card. Nah, let's not use blank card yet, yet. Maybe we'll get, like, mom's coin purse or something. We'll want to know what we get here. Anyway. Now we should use it because we're doing something else. I should have used it before the whole, you know, spend all our money on judgment thing. But now we have enough money to get something from the shop anyway. So I'm hoping that it ends up being a relatively minor mistake. Blank card tower is uh, pretty much useless. That's Yara, so we can't forget about the Yara rune. We'll blow this up. Fate would be amazing. Uh, store credit. I mean, there's no reason not to take store credit. We're going to the shop anyway. We might as well get a free item. Might give us the impetus necessary to uh, donate as well. Pulse worm. Uh, there's a reason not to take it, but we're going to come back for pulse worm. I don't see any tinted rocks either, but that admittedly could just be my own ignorance. Let's put a bomb here. Felt like a secret room. Sometimes you're going to be right about that. Sometimes I'm going to be super wrong. I think we you could double it all and then pick it up, but I think it's mathematically obviously better for us to instead just do this and then this. And now we've got uh, 99 cents, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. And I would say that's uh, you know a blank card counterfeit penny or blank card uh, two of diamonds well done. You may look at me or listen to me and think Northern Land thinks he's a smart man when he walks on those spikes. I hope you don't have that uh, impression because I don't feel like a smart man when I walk on those spikes. I do love that item though. It, admittedly, it is a damage downgrade, but the, the faster rate of fire more than compensates for it in my world. Talking about my world. My world. I guess we should be standing further back. We don't have proptosis. Our shots are just really big. Um, so we want that lump of coal bonus, and our range is definitely enough to get them down there. Yeah, that's that's some pretty crazy damage there. Uh, we, re we really now have one focus, and that's living to the chest, at which point we'll be able to use uh, Blank Card Yara Rune sort of to our heart's content. I'm going to try this. Should have taken the arrow rune in, just in case we got spirit arts. Oh, but we got nine lives instead, so now it's pretty much set. And sure, this is a trademark example of Northern Lion being carried. I'll give you that. I can't deny it. Might as well embrace it. Are we going to do boss rush? I mean, we, we sort of could, because if we die... Oh, that's so good. Uh, we sort of could do boss rush, because if we die, it doesn't matter. Like, we'll just get teleported out. It would be helpful if we could become guppy prior to the whole boss rush thing becoming a thing, though, you know? Not a second secret room. All right. Good start. If every hit does that much damage, we're in for a, a very easy fight here. It was. 
Let's take Polaroid and... I will take this so we can maybe get permanent Polaroid invincibility and... Why not? Uh, I feel like... I Okay, so this is a tricky one. I feel like I'm gonna go piercing shots though. Even though chocolate milk could be... Like, in theory is fun. I don't think it works with... Uh, with Monstro's lung, because you got two charge items. I think they just kind of like rest on top of one another, but they don't actually interact. Which is unfortunate, because if they interacted, it would be a lot of fun. Like if it if it charged like one tick of Monstro's tooth, then one or sorry, Monstro's lung, and then one tick of uh, chocolate milk, I'd be super happy and would take it in a heartbeat. But because I don't think that's how it works, I'm gonna stick with uh, conventional wisdom here. And this, honestly, the piercing shots pickup is gonna make us very, very, very strong. So it's not like I'm sad about the items we got there. There's also Dr. Fetus. I'm still on a little bit of a Dr. Fetus hangover. Uh, like to just not use Dr. Fetus for quite some time, if it's at all possible. I think I've put in my time. I've, I've done my due diligence, as it were. So we do, of course, have uh, invincibility here. I think this is a good time to use Blank Card Yera, honestly. Because we did get a Spirit Art. Let's just Blank Card it uh, right now. Then we'll get a charge at the end. So we'll get two spirit arts out of it. I'm hoping that it'll drop a battery or maybe give me an item that somehow gives me a battery. Even though I don't think there is one of those in the boss rush pool. Which is just like the item room pool. We'll find out though. I, it, you know, mathematically kind of seems like the right choice. Just missing a couple of guppy items to turn this into a truly, truly insane run. But I already, uh, you know, it's not hard to convince me that this is a great run. I love Monstro's Lung, and it shows up so rarely. It seems to show up so rarely. I can't remember if it's a special item. It doesn't really matter. Because it doesn't change whether or not it shows up. Well, I mean, like, in the code it does. It doesn't change my anecdotal evidence. Uh, there's a third Spirit Art, so maybe we should have waited on the Blank Card Yara Rune, unless they're still going to give us a battery charge. No, we still should have waited, mathematically speaking, I suppose, but whatever. Okay, we got the Bloat. So we're almost done here. We've only taken one hit. I'm not feeling too bad about our performance. Ooh, we've taken two hits now. I'm not feeling too badly about our performance, though. I mean, we're going to break even, and we picked up Homing Tears. This was not just like a joke. Like, this was actually probably definitively the correct course of action. Oh, there's another Spirit Heart coming. So we could have gotten six. Instead, we're going to get four. It's not that bad, but at the same time, would you rather have six or four? That was a very easy question to answer in my world. Talking about my world, my world. Anyway. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're taking a few more hits, and I'd like to admit. We still have the horse rocking around? No, we don't. That's the other one. Oh, my God. That one's just embarrassing. Let's pick up our spirit arts. I'm mad at myself. Monster Manuel. Still very worth it. We'll head down to the next floor. Looking like it's going to be a pretty quick one. I don't know why I said it like sing-songy like that. So we have 7 HP. Let's try to remember this because we will have uh, deals with the devil. Cat pieces, especially if there's two of them, are no-brainer pickups. I would also really like the ability to fly and to form coherent sentences on first pass. But, um, you know, you can't always get what you want, I suppose. Excuse me. Thank you. Um, blank card, yeah. There is a battery, so we can just consistently double the shit. But can we double? Is there any value to doubling it? Will they eventually make their way over onto my little platform? Oh, I guess we could. We can't consistently double it unless the battery comes over here, and it did. Oh my god! Well, this is actually great because now we can actually get all these keys, and we're gonna need these keys in order to open the chest that we want to summon on the chest. So this has actually worked out pretty well for us. Um, we should probably start picking up, like, a few now. And the reason I say that is I just don't want this room to be impossible to pass through, basically. And this is what I was afraid of. Um, fuck it, double it again. And one more time. Now it's going to be a little bit hellish, but I'm assuming that we'll be able to get to 99. There's 99. Okay, now get the fuck out of this room and never come back here. Hopefully this is the right way to go to get to the boss fight. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> well, that's one way to get to 99 keys. Two bombs. It's very fair right now. We have a, a balanced uh, consumable portfolio. Squeezy is fine. I think we're now at 9 HP. So we can take three deals and die. But Okay, we've got a guppy piece. I'll take it just in case, you know. Like, I don't think we're guppy. 
Unless I picked up a, a piece earlier that I didn't know about, but there's always a chance we find a curse room or something like that, and we're so survivable right now, I think it's worth keeping it alive. Let's just keep it moving here. Like, we we don't really need to use Blank Cardiera here, but if there's some Spirit Hearts, I suppose we should. We could have used it on the two Spirit Hearts that dropped earlier, but I was still so high on my, uh, my key game. Uh, yeah, we gotta check that out. Ah, uh, without Mom's, uh, sorry, not Mom's first starter deck, we can't really take two with us. So as much as Blank Card Chaos Card is kind of fun, I, I think that, um, Blank Card Yera is more fun because, that's not a guppy item, because of the, uh, the items you get out of it. Blank Card Chaos Card is like, yep, yeah, I killed him in one hit again. It's good if you get Mega Satan, because you can, it's kind of a, a gimmicky, but also hilarious way to fight Mega Satan, to just hit him twice and kill him. What is this rune? Hagalaz. Well, we'll just use that. Got High Priestess, Emperor, Joker. Joker card, unfortunately, does nothing for us because we can't take it with us. So I was like, we could blank card it, but what's the point? Like, we could have two Joker cards, neither of which we can use. Doesn't seem like that big of a draw to me, but maybe I'm mistaken. But I'm not the only one. I feel like kind of like a drunk Randy Newman behind this keyboard. Why drunk Randy Newman? It's not because I'm drunk, it's because I can't sing. So I'm assuming that Randy Newman, uh, you know, probably can until he's under the influence of alcohol. And then he gets a little bit better, and then he has a little too much, and he's not good. I'm not, I don't even know if he drinks, I'm not trying to slander him. You might be saying, Northern Lion, uh, Randy Newman can't sing to begin with. And I'll say, are you crazy? Just because you saw Will Sasso do a Randy Newman impression doesn't mean Randy Newman cannot sing. He's one of the uh, premier and sadly oftentimes forgotten about singer-songwriters of the 70s and beyond. You know, he, he's had a lot of great songs. What's, that? What's the album? 12 songs? Something like that. It's, it's an incredible album. He had a lot of hits before he became known for like, You got a friend in me. You know, and there's nothing wrong with You Got a Friend in Me either. Wish uh, Blank Card Yera doubled our spiders. We need like a Blank Card Black Widow for that. Black Widow Card Yera rune. I, you know, there's a joke in there somewhere. I'm just, I'm just a vessel. Hopefully. Uh, well, we definitely don't need that. So I will, we'll, we'll clear out the entire floor. Then we'll use Blank Card because it's been a while since I've done it. And every time I don't do it, people get salty at me. They go, Northern Line, what's the point of having Blank Card Yara Rune if you don't literally give your game a chance to break? And I say, well, you know what? You got a good point. It happens with surprising regularity. The the whole Blank Card thing is what I'm getting at, but uh, should have Blank Card Yara that, then it would have actually been worth something to go into that room. But I have a singular purpose in my life right now, and that is double golden chests on the chest. So we'll just do the math. It goes 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and after that 64 doubling is where we're going to want to Stop. I, this is worth checking. We get two items instead of one. And now we've taken both of these out. I'm not sure they, if they could ever come back anyway, but... Um, don't take the Bible by accident, for Frigg's sake. There's a Tinted Rock. Small Rock is one of the few uh, damage upgrades we have not gotten. Why not, right? Pick up a little bit of extra HP to fund the operation here. And then I picked it up, because I assume that our uh, boss fight's going to be close. Close-ish, anyway. Although it looks like we'd probably get a full charge because we have not hit the, you know, boss dead end yet. Not that it matters that much. I'm just pointing it out for the arithmetic uh, armchair players out there, and I do I mean that with no disrespect whatsoever. Let's kill Isaac and move down to the next floor. Now remember, we do have a lump of coal, so if we can actually. Stand as far away as possible, considering our shot speed and range. Like, that's actually a huge advantage for us. Assuming the shots land, which some of them actually weren't there, but that's okay. Alright, so the big shitty part of the Blank Ardiera thing is you don't get to pick up any items until you're already done. But the hope is that by unlocking so many chests, we'll be able to get Dad's key. So, we'll Blank Card, it's, let's see, four, one doubling is eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. So we need to do five doublings, which is four plays of blank card. Oh, I, okay, maybe we need a little bit more now. That's okay. That will slow us down quite a lot, actually, but it doesn't matter. We should have enough rooms to do it. And if we don't get to 128, it's actually fine, because we can't do with 128 anyway. Um, it would also be nice if we can get, like, uh, 
Master of Unlocking or something. We might as well pick up these items, it'll breakfast us out faster. But we're really hoping for Dad's key so we can get a chance to test out our overpowered build on uh, on Mega Satan. Why not? I mean, this is a very powerful run. We might as well give it a shot. Uh, yeah, let's take Ringworm. It's gonna be silly. Our shots are actually really small right now. Um, Curse of the Lost has tricked me. This is very strange. So it'll be seven. This will be fourteen. I guess we might as well take this. This will be 14. 28, 56, 112. That's fine. Oh, you, you know, we can get there faster with AAA battery. I know it's going to uh, cut into the zaniness of the run. But Monstro's Long is still pretty zany, if you ask me. And this way we'll only have to go three rooms to make it happen. And it's not this one. It's all the way. Oh, jeez. You almost tricked me there. So that's 14. We gotta do 28, we gotta do 56, and then we can Yera into like 112. And of that, if we don't have Dad's key, I'd be very, very surprised. I think it's mathematically possible, but uh, it would be surprising, to say the least. These spiders are so friendly, man. Whoop. Alright. That'll do uh, one more doubling here. So this next one is 28. You're probably tired of hearing me just shout out numbers at this point. But this one's 28. We need one more. Uh, I'm gonna have to open like one of these, one of these, maybe two of them to get out. Actually, we're gonna have to open a lot more than that if we want to get to the other side. Uh, I guess we'll just finish it up on this side. Still, this is gonna take us nearly there. And if you're going, ah, Northern Line, you blew it, you blew it. Don't worry about the blowing it, okay? It's all good, baby. We, uh, we're not going to be able to open, like, let me put it this way. We're either not going to have enough keys to open every single one of them anyway, or we're going to get breakfasted soon. So, we have nothing to, we have nothing to fear. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Why hasn't there been a movie called that yet? Like, come in this summer. Fear itself. Like, it would, the tagline writes itself. Well, the itself tagline right, is written. <laughs> I guess it's the way I would prefer to describe that. Oh, we, we need the keys. Okay. Okay, what's this one? Lovers? Oh, it's amazing. Okay, so things are about to get a little zany up in this room. There's nothing wrong with this. We can take this now and enjoy ourselves. This... And then this. And this is where it's going to become insane. Um, we're just going to kind of walk through here and we're going to pick up whatever items we pick up. I'm just going to tell you flat out, I'm not going to pick up every single item that shows up. There's going to be some great ones that get left behind. It's just not conceivable to pick up everything you find down here. As much as I would love to, you know. Um, we have picked up some good ones already. You know, I've seen Proptosis. I've seen... Uh, Money equals power when we have 99 cents. Oftentimes you do find the, uh, the Zodiac items right next to one another. Obviously we got like some Libra action going on in here. We're going to take it because it's weird. PhD, working our way around. I kind of want to sneak through the door and then come back out. We'll see how much our damage is doing right now. Uh, it's, it's good. It's high. <laughs> And then we'll come back, and there'll be uh, it'll be a little easier for us to pick up the items now. Oh, holy mantle. I mean, like, all the stuff we're picking up, you shouldn't be surprised by it, right? Because it's like, we're going to pick up almost every item in the game. But there is some great stuff in here. What the heck is going to go happen? Ludovic shows soy milk. we got to take, obviously. Where's my soy milk action at? Celtic cross, cricket's head. Oh, my God. Mongo baby. I want spoon bender. I want spoon bender. And I want undefined. Oh my god, it worked. Okay. So I don't know what the hell happens now. Let's see if we breakfasted. There were a lot of items we did not pick up. Which, again, if you're going to get mad about, but let's put this in perspective a little bit here. Um, but we can use the... We can do, like, multiple chests now. Oh, we got some decent stuff out of this. Let's try it again. 
All right, well, use I can see forever. What the heck happens if you take this bad boy with you? Nothing at all, okay. Uh, this is a cool tier effect anyway. It is the Bubble of Doom. Not quite as much damage as I might like, but it looks pretty sweet. Let's see how it does against Blue Baby. We're not gonna finish the run just yet. We'll try to do until we run into zero keys for a floor, which we're almost at. Oh, it's like a square now. Um, one more floor would do it, but we might as well at least try to make it work in advance of that, right? Wish we had shielded tears. Did we not pick it? We might have picked up shielded tears, so I could just like trap him inside of the shield. Um, it's panties. Can't really do anything there. We got about five different kinds of stompy. It's great damage, I gotta admit. I mean, even with soy milk, this is incredible. Oh, there we go. We got tech point five, which is actually surprisingly not that big of a help. Um, the D4. Why am I not gonna use the D4? Because it's just gonna breakfast us. We actually did this on the show, uh, and it, it completely breakfasted us, as of course you would expect that it would. All right, so this is gonna be our last run, unless something amazing happens and we get a ton of drops. Like a ton of key drops, I should say. Dark bum. Boom. Bob's brain. Still a little surprised we didn't get Dad's key. Although, I guess I wouldn't have been able to redo the floor if we did get Dad's key, because I wouldn't have been able to take on Define. But anyway, let's go be Blue Baby. I have a feeling it's going to be done relatively quickly here. And then we can get on our merry way. And I can finally take a shower. What do we have here? The lovers. I don't expect this to be too useful. All right. Have at it. This was a fun run and a weird run. This takes us to win 11, only 89 to go until we get back to 100 for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.